Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Michael from Bro JMR coming at you with a brand new episode of What's in the Bag. This is episode 11. Uh, it's been well over a month since I've done one of these. Um, and for those of you who are confused about the date, um, it's actually Thursday, May 16th. So it's been well over a month since I've um, done one of these videos. Mostly because there hasn't been a whole lot come out. We're at the slow point of the year where, uh, you know, the summer blockbusters are fixing to start up in the theater. So we're really just kind of finishing up on winter um, holiday uh, releases. And so there's really not a whole lot um, available right now that's new, per se. Um, there is a couple of ones here and there every once in a while I did pick up a couple of them um, but for the most part it's pretty pretty slow time right now um, I believe next episode that I do which I hopefully should probably be doing in about a week and a half two weeks or something like that should be more exciting because um, it's Memorial Day weekend coming up and uh, movie trading company which is one of the, like the used um, used shops here that we uh, frequent recently is having their uh, buy two get one free on all their used stuff so hopefully we will be getting several new things then um, well not new but new to us uh, maybe some uh, replacements some upgrades um, replacements hopefully maybe pick up a few TV seasons that were lacking and so hopefully next episode should be pretty cool but I did have, I do have a few things here to um, to talk about today. A um, couple of them. Let's see. Um, well, a few of them I think were like uh, I get three for twenty at Best Buy. Um, Best Buy also put a few things in their seven ninety nine dump bin. They haven't completely replenished it yet. It's pretty, it's pretty empty. Um, it's pretty picked through. But uh, last time we were there, Jonathan did find a couple of things that he didn't have yet. So we've got that. Um, so here we go. Uh, first thing out of the seven ninety nine bin, we have the Scorpion King. This is, I believe, the only one of the mummy type movies that we don't have. I actually already thought that we had this, but uh, Jonathan said no, we didn't. And so he picked this up to go along with our Mummy 1, 2, and 3. Um, it's I know it's not exactly part of the series, but it is kind of takes place within the series. So, and I guess Jonathan actually just liked this movie. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, the next one is The Bling Ring. This is uh, based on a true story about these kids who um, went around Hollywood and um, breaking in and robbing celebrities' houses. So that was in the news a few years ago. So they made a movie based on the story. Um, I've never seen it. I might actually watch it. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided. But um, seven ninety nine at Best Buy if you're interested. Um, next are the three things that Jonathan found on the Get 3 for 20 um, rack at Best Buy. The first one is, what is this? Zodiac. Um, uh, this is a David Fincher. Jonathan got it for his David Fincher collection. Um, he actually has everything but two of them, or maybe three now. Um, I have no idea what this movie is even a little bit about, but it does have Jake Gyllenhaal, Robert Downey Jr., and Mark Ruffalo in it, so it's got, uh, you know, two Avengers in it, so that's, that's automatically, should be pretty cool, um, but it's also, it's David Fincher, and he's a trippy, trippy guy, and his stuff is usually really good. Uh, the next one is Phantom of the Opera. This is the... Uh, remake that came out um, a couple of years ago and Jonathan has actually been looking for this movie like forever and ever and ever and ever because he is a huge Phantom fan, a uh, fan of the opera and so he got to pick it up so good for him. Uh, the next one is Gran Torino. Um, I have seen this movie 
once when it first came out, and Clint Eastwood is just a badass in it, um, as usual. And plus, it's got a really, really cool car, uh, the Gran Torino, which is um, obviously what the na movie's named after. But it's actually a very good, very, very good story. Um, I actually really, really like the story. It's really good. Uh, next one is something actually I've been looking for for a long, long time, and I haven't wanted to pay full price for it because it's Disney, and I hate putting full price for Disney because they're so damn expensive. But the Lone Ranger, uh, I know most people are like, oh, that movie sucked, the movie was terrible. Yeah, well, that movie, it wasn't a great movie, but it was a fun popcorn summer movie, and you just got to get through the beginning of it to get to the last few minutes of it last 15 20 minutes of it which are, are just amazingly awesome it's really cool and it was on sale for 7.99 so pick that guy up yes uh, one of the new things that actually came out were taken three uh, Jonathan got this because he is a huge Liam Neeson fan and he really likes the uh, taken series of movies I have not watched this one yet but I did watch a little bit at the very, very end of it, and I thought there was one scene that was totally implausible and ridiculous. But that's the kind of thing you have to go in with kind of these movies is that they're ridiculous. So, uh, Forgasmo! Finally on Blu-ray! It's literally been over 10 years since the DVD came out, and I've had the DVD for 10 years. And finally, I've got the Blu-ray edition of it, which is great. Now, I'm sure that the picture is not going to be that much improved on it, and that really doesn't matter because I'm a huge Trey Parker and Matt Stone fan, and so I this one actually was really, really funny. Believe it or not, the, actually the funniest part of this thing is the drunken commentary with Matt Stone, Trey Parker, and other members of the cast. Um, they have played a drinking game where they talk about every time they talk about Jesus, porn, boobs, nudity, or anything, they gotta take a shot, and they're so wasted by the end of the movie. And come, to, there's actually um, I, something I've just seen just for the first time now: a commentary with South Park writing staff, Weird Al Yankovic, Kevin Smith, and more. So I may have to go back and rewatch that commentary. So that should be pretty cool. All right, finally we got Steelbook, <sighs> Fifty Shades of Grey. I know you're wondering why a good wholesome boy like you are picking up a movie about um, uh, doms of relationships. Well, let me tell you why. Because I have a friend of mine who asked me to do a review of it. And I missed seeing it in the theaters. I have read the book only because I wanted a comparison of it but my best friend asked me to do a review of it and we don't get requests very often for our movie reviews and so I am going to comply with this. Um, it is open, but I have not watched it yet. Um, I don't know why we opened it up. I was, we guess we were just looking at the, at the artwork on the inside of the steel book, but I will be probably be watching the, this, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and putting a review up postly Hopefully by Sunday night, um, you'll get a review, our review of Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, and plus it's Steelbook, so I'm, I'm a sucker for Steelbooks, so yay. Uh, so, counts for our new counts. Um, we did get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things this episode. Um, Orgasmo we did already have, so this is a replacement, so that's going to make eight items. Our last count was 1314 and we're going to add 8 to that which means 1322. So our count is now 1322 and um, our steelbook count is up to 91. So thank you for watching. Thank you for hearing me ramble on and on and on about this stuff. Um, please be um, on the lookout for the 50 Stage Shades of Grey uh, review. And also um, we got some, we got a big project coming up that's going to be exciting. Um, it's going to be a weekly show. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. So, Sons of the Renaissance, coming soon. Thank you for watching. Blessed be.